Snakes in Florida are not known to be very hostile and are unlikely to strike unless provoked. In fact, if you get too close to them, they will almost always make an effort to get away. But among the 50 or so different types of snakes the Sunshine State is home to, six species are venomous. These animals can be considered pretty dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. What snakes are we talking about? Let's see. 1. Cottonmouth Starting off our list is the cottonmouth. There are a few different names for the cottonmouth, including water moccasin and Florida cottonmouth. The state of Florida is home to two distinct species of cottonmouths, including the cottonmouth and the eastern cottonmouth. Both of these reptiles belong to the pit viper family and may be identified as such by their blocky triangular heads, wide bodies, dark coloring, and the specific regions of the world in which they are found. Cottonmouths typically grow to be between 20 and 48 inches long when they reach adulthood, but the longest cottonmouth ever found was 74.5 inches long. The snake is semi-aquatic and may typically be found in the water or in close proximity to it. It also has excellent swimming abilities. Cottonmouths are venomous snakes that have severe bites that if not treated can be fatal. In the event that they perceive that they are in danger, they will coil their bodies, expose their fangs and get ready to bite. They aren't often hostile, although some males can become highly territorial when they feel threatened in their territory. Most symptoms of a cottonmouth bite show up minutes to hours after the bite and can include severe pain, rapid swelling, changes in the color of the skin, hard or fast breathing, variations in the heart rate, and much more. 2. Timber Rattlesnake Next up, we have the Timber Rattlesnake. Canebrake Rattlesnake is the other name, and when it comes to the state of Florida, this particular snake is typically only discovered in eight or nine of the northern counties. Because of the timber rattlesnake's pattern of crossbands that resemble chevrons and are brown and black against a backdrop that is grayish, the snake is very difficult to spot. It shares the characteristic scary head form of the other pit vipers, which is in the shape of a triangle. The length of the largest timber rattlesnake ever recorded was 74.5 inches, but the length of a regular adult ranges anywhere from 36 to 60 inches. The snake used to be widespread, but due to human activity, it has almost completely disappeared from the environment. It thrives well in the steep terrain and deciduous forests of its preferred environment. However, due to its important role in helping keep the rodent population in check, it deserves respect on par with other serpents. Nonetheless, due to the fact that it is one of the most poisonous snakes in Florida, you should keep a safe distance from this reptile. With timber rattlesnake bites, the skin around the spot will swell and turn black. It may also slough off when healing. 3. Southern Copperhead This pit viper, also known as the Chunkhead or Highland Moccasin, is found nowhere else in the world except in the eastern region of the United States. Copperheads typically grow to reach between 22 and 36 inches in length as adults, with the longest specimen ever recorded measuring 53 inches in length. The southern copperhead is a robust snake with a broad head. It has a coloration that ranges from light tan to a pinkish tan that gets deeper toward the midline and is patterned with crossbands all over it. Due to the fact that these snakes prefer the wet environments that are located in marshes, streams, and river bottoms, you could typically find them in the region of the Appalachia River, as well as to the west of the Florida Panhandle. It has also been documented that they inhabit southern neighborhoods. Copperhead snakes deliver a painful bite with their deadly venom. Although generally not enough to kill a healthy adult, older persons, children, and those who aren't in good health are more likely to lose their lives after being bitten by these hazardous snakes. 4. Eastern Coral Snake The common name coral snake can also refer to the eastern coral snake. Bandings of black, yellow, white, and red colors distinguish these snakes from others. The eastern coral snake is often quite little, with an average length that ranges between 20 and 30 inches, and it may be found all over the state of Florida. It consumes lizards, frogs, and even other species of snakes for food. And the only hazardous snake that can compete with this one in terms of how deadly its bite is, is the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. It is extremely uncommon for someone to pass away as a result of a bite from an eastern coral snake, and the most recent fatality was recorded in 2006. The snake is notoriously shy and rarely bites people due to its nature. The snake's venom, despite having a low fatality rate, 
is powerful enough to kill many adults in the human population. The low fatality rates linked with the venom of this snake are due to the limited volume of venom that is injected with each bite as well as the high frequency with which dry bites occur. Humans usually get bitten by coral snakes when they pick up the beautiful little snake without realizing how dangerous it is. Because of its striking resemblance to the innocuous scarlet king snake, people frequently get the two species mixed up. Both have red, black, and yellow bands. However, the phrase red touch yellow, kill a fellow, red touch black, good for Jack, can be used to tell them apart. 5. Dusky Pygmy Rattlesnake The Dusky Pygmy Rattlesnake, sometimes referred to as the Ground Rattler or Pygmy Rattler, is Florida's most frequent species of venomous snake. This is yet another representative of the Pit Viper subspecies and can be found across the state of Florida, with the exception of the Florida Keys. The average length of an adult Dusky Pygmy Rattlesnake is between 12 and 24 inches and the longest dusky pygmy rattlesnake ever observed was 31 inches. Flatwoods, as well as the areas around lakes, ponds, freshwater marshes, and swamps are popular habitats for the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. This species mostly consumes mice and frogs for food. If it senses that it is in danger, this snake will make an effort to defend itself. When it becomes agitated, the rattle makes a sound that is similar to that of a buzzing bug. Although some rare cases have been fatal, Bites from this snake are usually not lethal but very painful and might even demand amputation. So keep yourself clear of this deadly predator. 6. Eastern Diamondback And last but not least, we have the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, which is more commonly known as just a rattlesnake or a rattler. During the time of the American Revolution, the Gadsden flag, which many people believe to be the first flag to represent the United States of America, included a symbol of an Eastern Diamondback. It is the biggest of the rattlesnakes that can be found in the Americas, and despite the fact that it is not the longest poisonous snake, it is the largest in terms of its weight. The length of an adult can range anywhere from 36 to 72 inches, with some reaching as long as 96 inches. When compared to other snakes, the eastern diamondback can be quite bulky, with one specimen weighing up to 26 pounds when it was captured. It consumes rabbits and other warm-blooded animals, as well as rodents like mice and rats as its primary food source. The snake is not particularly hostile, but due to its robust build, it is considered to be one of the most hazardous snakes in the state of Florida. This stunning but potentially lethal snake has a bite that can cause severe pain and can extend its strike up to two-thirds of its body length. Between 10 and 30% of those bitten by this snake will ultimately pass away as a result of their injuries. This species of rattlesnake boasts the longest fang and the cytotoxic venom that is secreted by this snake quickly causes the victim's tissue to be destroyed. If therapy is not administered promptly, the person may not survive the resulting cardiac collapse and will die. This brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.